And 7 News uncovering new details tonight about the suspension of three CSU football players this weekend. The coach wouldn't elaborate on what prompted it, only saying it wasn't because of a St. Patrick's Day fight involving the players. 7 News reporter Molly Hendrickson is live in Fort Collins. Molly, you've learned there was another fight, and this one happened the night before the suspensions. The night before, it happened right here on Laporte and Shields. And although police aren't releasing names of those who are involved, some football players are taking to Facebook and apologizing for the actions after some victims posted graphic pictures. Fist size bruises cover the faces of JD Haley and Donnie Gaucher. I have stitches behind my ear back here. Um, I have chipped teeth. Um, I have a uh, shoe print on my back. All from Friday night when they say six CSU football players in a white SUV pulled up looking for a fight. They were yelling at any and everybody at the party and people were yelling back too but I don't think they really hurt anybody until my friend Donnie. Donnie yelled back and that's when four of the guys tackled him, hitting him in the face, stomping on his back and head. I just felt couple shots to my head and I was out. I was screaming, stop, stop, please stop. Please. Eventually they did, but not before beating up JD and two friends trying to help, leaving them with black eyes, a broken nose, and a lacerated lip. I don't know if that kid would have stopped if somebody if he hadn't changed his attention to somebody hitting somebody else. The students wouldn't say if the players involved were the same ones who were suspended, but do say several other members of the football team have stepped up and apologized. Player Trey Cassidy even took to Facebook, writing, not everyone on the team are like these athletes that get into fights every other weekend. It really just shows the character of the football team, and they're really just trying to clean this up because now we both can see that it was just a couple of bad apples and it shouldn't uh, cloud the whole organization's reputation. And at this point, nobody has been arrested. We did contact both the school and the police, but they didn't return our calls. We also were able to get in contact with one of the players, Nordley Cappy, who told us he couldn't comment because of the okay. ongoing investigation. It's be okay, sir. Reporting live in Fort it's Collins, Molly Henderson, right. 7 News.